area still. So we were talking off camera about VPlex. Uh, you were talking about some of the growth. If you can share any metrics, that would be great. But um, you know, when I first saw VPlex, I said, "Speed of light." Yeah. <laughs> I, I said, "I'll work." And then you know, started to understand a little better, knew a little bit about the technology that you guys acquired to enable that. But where are we at with with VPlex? What's new? What what's the uptake look like? Share with us any any insights and metrics that you can. It's kind of funny. The startup we bought was called Yada Yada. As a marketing guy, I get a little shy about that. But From a Seinfeld episode. <laughs> <or something. laughs> but VPlex solves a very fundamental problem, particularly as people are implementing virtualized data centers. When you move data, it's hard. When you move it remotely over distance, it's real hard. You've got to move the data, you bring a system down, haul it all the data over, bring the system back up, reconcile the difference. It can take hours or days. With VPlex, it takes minutes. And what we're showing people in our booth this week is a sneak preview for, with an announcement we're having with Oracle later in the fall. It's integrating Oracle Rack with VPlex. And we've got the integration so finely tuned, it's not minutes to move data, it's milliseconds. So instant access to your data, uh, Oracle Rack across distance. So I, one of the things that struck me as interesting about VPlex, and I've been following this for a long time, I know a lot of Symmetrics customers, migrations from you know, one generation to the next are a bloody nightmare. They and are. They're very expensive. I mean, upwards of $50,000 per migration is the estimates that, that we've come up with. And it, it seems like VPlex can enable a perpetual generational migration without any application interruption. That's a great that way to put it. No downtime, uh, non-disruptive migration. In fact, we, can e we are even working with customers to do migrations on non-EMC arrays. So one customer of ours we love talking about is Denny's, America's Diner. They wanted to do a migration across uh, IBM arrays. They brought in VPlex. They estimated that the effort would take 200 hours. It took just over 14. So we're seeing those kinds of efficiencies with the capability with short term, uh, short haul movement of data like a migration or like we talked about distance across the country from Miami to uh, LA. Yeah, so that, that was a very compelling use case. I, I'm, I'm still uh, curious as to some other use cases where you're moving lots of data, but, but of course you, you're doing it in a way, and the yada yada technology allows you to do it in a way where you're not necessarily moving tons of data over the wire, right? And so, so that's, you know, we're looking for you know, new emerging use cases, but that, that migration is one that we talk to customers about all the time, and hopefully gone are the days where you got to bring the system down and spend $50,000 per array to migrate. Um,